uh, the, the line's beginning to go. And in any case, he's very busy tonight. Thanks for the call, my friend. Call back sometime. John is in England, in Sussex. Go ahead, John. Oh, good evening, George. It's very good. It's a pleasure to talk to you, my friend. And to you, sir. Um, Go ahead. I, I actually, I donated £10 towards <laughs> the documentary. Ah, it's coming out in a few weeks. There. You'll be very happy well, with it. George, I have the best news you're ever going to hear, my friend. Tell me. On Tony Blair and David Cameron. On the 1st of March, myself met Royal Air Force Blower by the name of Gordon Bowden and about 200 people from Facebook and other places. We took forensic evidence to the BBC on the biggest political scam in UK history and the BBC are holding on that to that information and it's of national interest, George. Well, you better contact me, uh, John. I would love to contact you, George, because you're the man that can get this fixed. Well, you, we can, have the you, can, you can be sure of that. You, you have aroused my interest. So follow me on Twitter and I'll follow you back and we'll DM each other and uh, make arrangements for me Thank to... Thank you very uh, much, George. You're a gentleman. God bless you. And to you, sir. God bless you. Well, that's a tantalizing possibility, uh, isn't it? Now, here's what's happening this day. I told you the cheesy puffs factory was destroyed, and if it was all comic opera like that, it wouldn't be so serious. weapons into Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. You really couldn't make it up. John is on the line. He's in England. John, welcome. Oh, hello, George. It's a pleasure to speak Hi. to you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? You're in, George? I can hear you, John. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, George. Uh, the way I see things... You know, I mean, uh, British arms south to Bahrain have increased, I mean, in the past five years. It's, it's worth about £45 million. Now, you've got, you've got a situation in this country where for the last 40 years, the, 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 the British taxpayers' money, instead of going into social services, it's been extracted into offshore accounts to fund these black projects to put these uh, British dictators in. Now, uh, you know, we, we've presented forensic evidence to the BBC on this, of this massive fraud that's extracted trillions of pounds from the UK Treasury, and nothing's being done about it, George. Yeah, I remember you said that before. When are you going to send me something? Well, I, I did write to you, George, to two different addresses. Uh, maybe... Um, maybe you never received my emails. I don't know. I certainly didn't. Let me give you the uh, best address now, which is George at Galloway dot global. If you send me the information, John, if it stands up, I promise you, I'll shout it from the rooftops. I Thanks know for the call. Thank you, you George. Well, I mean, he hung up before I could say any more, but I've got it taped this end, folks. I'm going to, um, I'm going to publish this on YouTube. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I've been nervous. This is my Facebook page. All my friends have been listening in. And um, uh, I'm, I'm lost for words, but I'm going to edit this video. And I'm going to post it on Facebook. And thank you to all my friends that were listening in. Now, you heard George Galloway promise that he was going to get to the bottom of this. And uh, I think he will do. I don't think he has a choice. So anyway, um, I can't wait to get this edited. You take care and uh, I'll see you on Facebook.
I presented that in a, in a chain of correspondence to various MPs in Derby North, Chris Williamson, Margaret Beckett, and then the Labour Party, the Liberal Party. I presented forensic evidence which explains in great detail how billion pound money laundering networks were set up from Finchley Road. And those were part and parcel of the money laundering, which my retired partner was one of 800 victims. And because of the political implications of those addresses in Finchley Road, which were then under conservative control, even going back to the days of Margaret Thatcher, I'll give you that. I'll stand one on one with you and sit down and work through a sequence of documents that will highlight to the people of this country, not, not to protect politicians, that it will give these people a better idea of what massive multi-billion pound organised crime and money laundering is, not from Africa, this country, this country. Uh, let me have a word with my editorial team down Okay, no problem. Uh, it's good. Cool. No, no. Uh, this, this, this is something... This is something No, that's not a problem. I, I thank you very much. Same The biggest political scandal in UK history. Okay, inside He spent 13 years of his life trying to expose the biggest fraud, money theft, laundering syndicate in this country, where the assets from the British Treasury have been stolen and transferred into offshore accounts using fake oil, gas and mining companies registered at 788 790 Finchley Road. And today, Gordon Bowden walked into the BBC with the evidence, and this is the biggest... I can't even explain what this means. He's walked into the BBC, and the BBC, for the first time, have got privy to these forensic documents. Uh -huh. And Thanks the interesting much, thing Sharon. is, we've got it all on record. We've yes. recorded him talking to the BBC yes. and then walking into the, to the building. So there is a record by many people of, of what's happened. And it is quite historic, isn't it? You I were quite excited and you were quite, quite emotional about it. I was in tears. I yes, say. I know. I have it videoed. Several other people have uh -huh. it videoed. It's going to go out worldwide, yeah. and this whole paedophilic, yeah. warmongering British establishment is coming down. Yes. Because it has to. It's been going on for decades, yeah. and we've had enough. Yes. The, we're, we're, we're stopping it. Yes. So this and, is warning to I, them. I want to say a big thank you to Paul Bell. He's one of the bravest men I've ever met. He is. He's really put himself on the line, he spent hasn't he? 13 years of his life. Yeah. Trying to get this out. Brilliant. And he's finally got it yeah. out. And we witness this. The, yeah. the, 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 the people of this country are now witnessing a, 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 a coming out of the truth. Yes. That the things they've been trying to suppress and keep hidden, that they've been robbing the people of this country. We've been robbed to, by. Yes, yes, we have. But to line their own pockets. Yes. Right, here we have Gordon coming out of the BBC after having delivered the documents. <laughs> The worst thing that we want to do is uh, uh, diminish any uh, investigation that may get these people off. So I've handed um, a few forensic documents over. They're going to do their own investigation. And with a bit of luck, things will progress from there. But that's what I'm hoping for, is that we plan to seed that these people will not get away. They are public servants. They will be accountable to the people of this country.